hey, congratulations for the leopard skin on Peacock. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. This is one fascinating series with so many twists and turns. I, I don't know how we, we could talk about it without us spoiling anything. <laughs> Unfortunately, yeah, it is really difficult, but uh, that's that's the beauty of the show. So what initially attracted you, Anna, into a series like something like this? It really attracted me that, you know, the characters, the, the, the cast, um, the director, Sebastian, the location, the opportunity to be able to work in the middle of the pandemic because I wasn't, we weren't working and then to get this job and to get this opportunity to be, um, you know, working and, and, and in, a, in a story that we were able to do because of the way the story happens in this beautiful uh, house in, in a beautiful beach in Mexico, even though we worked in the in Dominican Republic was great. So. Um, you know, I was very glad and fortunate to 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 be able to play Innocencia. Wow. Um, tell us about your character, Innocencia, because uh, she's an interesting, mysterious character, but she has a good heart. She is, I mean, you know, like she she she's a very uh, fun and um, interesting person, uh, even though she has her things. You know, she's been recently fired. And also from the house, she used to work in the house forever. She grew up in that house. So she loves the people that uh, that live there. But also, you know, she's a, she, she's a kleptomaniac. Kleptomaniac, is that the word? And also, you know, she, she lives in this fantasy. She, she fantasizes a lot because she watches a lot of soap operas. And so she lives in this world of telenovelas and that like, she thinks life is like that. So she... She's very, um, you know, sometimes she's not really there, you know, like she just lives in this world of fantasy. And, um, and, and also that's part of her charm. And, 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 and it's a fun character to play, to be honest. It's, it, was, it was nice. I, I think it's a great character, especially since uh, there's a lot of uh, serious tones and thr th um, thrills in a series like this. And you brought in some humor into this correct yeah that that's what i liked about the character that she just would get in put the bomb and leave you know like she just like or, or just it was like a you know uh, a humor release in in in, in a tension in a moment of tension in the show so i really loved it because it was designed so you know since we just arrived say something and and um and everyone would have to react and uh and well, the, the, the story will change for things that Innocencia would reveal. It is hard to talk about the show because I cannot reveal things. So uh, don't get me wrong, it's just very difficult not to say things that I shouldn't. Um, but yeah, that's what I like a lot about the character that she just was just like, in, in a spot of, and then would leave, you know? <laughs> uh just, just off topic, uh, do you like telenovelas yourself, like the character? Um, you know, I did 10 of them. I started in telenovelas, so I'm very familiar with the world. You know, that's how I, that's how I started my career. But um, but I, I don't watch them anymore, to be honest. I, I don't. Uh, I've, I've, I've moved to LA 17 years ago, so I haven't watched a novella in 17 years. But I did I did a lot of them, and I grew up watching them. That, that's all we watch uh, when I was, you know, when I was growing up. So I did like them, you know, um, but I wasn't like, you know, obsessed with them, like my character is. Well, what, what do you think about fans who, who really love these things, like, like the character? Um, I, you know, like the novelas is, 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 is so, it, it takes you out of your world. It takes you out of your problems, out of like, and, um, it helps a lot of people just to you know don't think about their their problems problems or what they're going through so they kind of like live through the characters and and that's why they are so important in our country you know that's the they they, they impact a lot of lives and um so so i think that's why they're so successful 
Absolutely. And that's why uh, your character looks for that escapism, too. Um, tell about the, because uh, this was kind of filmed in the, uh, during the pandemic. Tell us about the, the interaction with, you know, with other cast members and such a small cast for a, a long series like this. Yeah, but you know what? I think the cast we were the 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 the, the, the biggest ones because the crew was even smaller. Like the the cast were like eight or nine cast members, but the crew were like nine, where usually are like a hundred. So in comparison, you know, I've been in huge movies where the cast is the same amount that we were, or even two or three or cast members. But here. We were only like 25 people working on a show where usually it's like 100. So it was insane. And we were able to, to shoot these and to do it and um, you know to be able to deliver the best quality uh, for the show where the conditions were very, very tough, very difficult. Just to, We were not able to go out of that place or to get anything or to see anyone for months. So, but at the same time, that was beautiful too, you know, because, because the relationships are stronger and uh, the memories too, and also you're more focused in what you're doing. And um, yeah, so, so it has its pros and cons. Oh, I don't, I don't know. You, you, you've been locked down in a beautiful house on a deserted beach. That is the ultimate workation. It was, it was. Even though, you know, for me, I could, I would do it again. I loved it. Like if they tell me go again, do it, do it again, I would do it. But at some point, even if it was a paradise, if, even if, but if you are like trapped in a paradise, there's a moment that you are like, I need to see someone. So when I finish the show, I, I stay one more week in Dominican Republic because I didn't see anything. So I left finally because, you know, I, 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 even though it was a pandemic, but I wasn't gonna infect anyone because now I was, I was on my own. So I traveled, I traveled the country just to see it. Um, it was, and it was incredible because I cherish so much, you know, be able to be free and be able to, you know, eat whatever I wanted and go and buy anything I wanted. So it was very special, but, um, but anyway, the, 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 that country is just a paradise, the whole, the whole country. And, and what, one more thing that I want to bring up in the movie, and, and I know I asked Carla about it, so I'm going to try to not spoil it and um, try to make you understand the, what, what the question is. Uh, how do you do the acting while being contained? Um, you know, like I'm referring to the bathroom scene with, with, with everyone. I mean, it's, it's more like acting with your eyes. Yeah. In, in some ways. It's, it's tough, right? It is tough, you know. The my the other act like Carla, Jaita, Amelia, they are such amazing actresses, and Carla has all the experience in the world. So just looking at Carla gave me everything because she has the most beautiful, strong um, eyes that I was just like you. We just the atmosphere was created very easily for we, with all the actresses that I really loved and admired. So I was just like playing. I was just like you know we were all playing, and um, I think that it it wasn't it wasn't difficult because they were great actresses. Most excellent, Anna. I I really do appreciate it, and I also want to remark that I I'm very excited that you're going from a deserted uh, resort. Uh, of leopard skin into something more crowded in Vegas with uh, the army of the dead. So, well, I'm just, just curious, was was that a crowded set or everything returned back to normal on, on that one, on that series? Well, army of the dead was before the pandemic. Oh yeah. That's... So that was a regular set. I did army of the dead and then I did the purge. That was in, in 2019. And then 2020, I didn't really work. Uh, no one really did, did, did work. And then at the beginning of 2021, that's when we did, uh, that was my first job, uh, Leopard Skin. I did some reshoots actually for the Purge and for Army of the Dead, which were di very different, you know, because that was that then we were in the pandemic. And then I, my first job was uh, Leopard Skin. So everything was new, you know. Um, yeah, and if it wasn't for that, there wasn't, it would have been 
nothing being released right now. That's why I think there's so many shows like White Lotus or um, Leopard Skin or that show on Peacock, I forget the name also, that happened on a resort in something where, you know, the whole cast could be in one place. So that was the only way we could tell stories. Well, I'm glad you're uh, still telling stories and everything's starting to return to normal. Anna, thank you very much uh, for this thank conversation. You. Thank you so much. Thank <laughs> you.